Mercury, the planet closest to the Sun, the smallest planet in our solar system. As a human being, there are a variety of ways that Mercury can end my existence. Firstly, temperatures range between minus 179 degrees to 427 degrees. I don't know how much that is in Fahrenheit, and I'm not going to do the conversion for you either, because fuck Fahrenheit. Either way, you would either freeze or melt instantly. Mercury also has a very thin atmosphere, so there's no protection from the sun's radiation or solar wind. And lastly, there's also no water on Mercury. So how do we survive here? Well, you'd need some kind of suit resistant to extreme weather. It'd also need to regulate body temperatures. One way to get protection from the radiation and the harsh surface would be through underground shelters. Of course, these underground shelters need to be highly kitted out. So, basically, Mercury is damn near impossible to survive on. Venus, the hottest planet in our solar system. Unlike Mercury, Venus has a very thick atmosphere, consisting of CO2 with clouds made up of sulfuric acid and temperatures on the surface reaching up to 475 degrees. The atmospheric pressure on Venus is 92 times that of Earth as well. So as you can see, there are many ways to die on Venus. However, in an attempt to survive, flowing habitats would be an option. It keeps you safe from the scorching surface to temperature and the pressure would be more moderate. Along with this, you would need suits able to combat the extreme conditions. Besides these couple of things, you don't really stand a chance against Venus. Earth, possibly the most dangerous planet on this list. Let's look at how to survive on Earth. Don't go to America, you'll get shot. Definitely don't go UK, you're going to get stabbed. Don't go here, lots of drugs and guns. You can't go here, it's too cold and scary. Definitely not here, America enjoys testing their bombs out. I wouldn't recommend here either, very racist apparently. Certainly not here or here, the wildlife will eat you. Not here, you'll probably die of poverty. So the only place you're left with is basically Kiribati. Mars now Mars is one of the nicer planets in our solar system. The temperature reaches a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius, which is summer for us here in the UK, and minus 153 degrees Celsius, which is not too shabby. Nice. A big issue with Mars is that there is too much CO2 and not enough oxygen. It also has thin atmospheric pressure and no magnetic field, resulting in high levels of radiation. So enjoy those two butts. The worst part of Mars is the dust storms. These are f massive mate and reach speeds of 33 to 66 miles per hour if you get stuck on one of these you're gone mate you are gone the storm will probably take you halfway across the planet the first way you survive on mars is making habitat strong enough to survive the storm there's no point in having a high-tech house if it's going to end up 50 kilometers up in the air then you'd need something to store and generate oxygen also some form of temperature regulation would be nice basically go watch the martian after this video and you'll be sorted on how to survive on mars jupiter Listen guys, I can't help you if the bloody planet has no surface, alright? Even chat GPT says it's not possible. Saturn. Uranus. Whilst Uranus doesn't have a solid surface either, it has a strange liquidy substance consisting of water, ammonia and methane. So when you try landing on Uranus, you'll most likely fall into this liquidy substance. Now there are many ways you can die on Uranus. Firstly, if you decide to swim in this liquidy substance, ammonia will f*** you up very badly. Like, really badly. The temperature on Uranus is minus 195 degrees Celsius, so you'll also freeze to death instantly. Uranus also has a very strong gravity, so how do we survive here? Well, given this planet is a liquidy substance, it's nearly impossible. The only thing I can think of off the top of my head is some form of a submarine, but of course this poses way too many problems like can it withstand the pressure of Uranus? And most importantly, how the f*** are you going to even get a submarine to Uranus? Neptune. Now, Neptune is actually very similar to Uranus in its composition, so all the challenges you'll face on Uranus, you will most likely face them all on Neptune as well. So the solution? Submarine baby. Now you're probably thinking, what about Pluto? Well, Pluto got labelled as a dwarf planet in 2006. It was an imposter. A pretender. Alright? So fuck Pluto. 